what's going on guys welcome back to whiskey dixon i'm sugar bear troy we are reviewing knob creek single barrel, single barrel reserve Easter. nine years old mm. 120 proof so it's single barrel and barrel proof jeez hell yeah can't go wrong man knob creek and nine year too always delivers all, all those things tick the box yeah i'm uh I'm okay with that. That'll get you drunk. Quite frankly, 120 proof is dangerous. Stuff. Knob Creek already comes in at 100 proof. So mm -hmm. when you're talking oh, this strength, mm -hmm. you know that's going to be potent. It's just barely stronger than Booker's. Booker's comes in at 63.5. Ah, okay. They just answered a question of mine, which is how long has Knob Creek been around for? The brand. Say, Shugs, how long has Knob Creek been around for? 1992, the year I was born. That is perfect. So Hell they've yeah, been around for like 29 years as of this year. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have let you know how old I am. Yeah. That was a mistake. <laughs> um, I love Knob Creek, honestly. It's, it's, a, it's not a distillery. I... Let me let me backtrack a little bit. It's from Jim Beam. Jim Beam makes Knob Creek, but Knob Creek is a better caliber of whiskey than most of what Jim Beam makes. And what's interesting about Knob Creek, uh, excuse me, if you smell it, mm. it doesn't have that, that cardboard. intense cardboard. No, right. no, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. That. That's for some reason only Knob Creek doesn't have that i don't know if they're actually distilling it or aging it somewhere different i'm not sure mm -hmm. about all that but there's something about knob creek that is just better quality than, than most of what jim beam makes mm -hmm. um although booker's is fantastic oh, that's yeah. one of our favorite bourbons we've ever had on the show right but knob creek is one of the best like daily drinker go-to's even just the standard hunter proof that's like 30 bucks is fantastic right this one is a bit more expensive comes in at 50 bucks mm -hmm. which really for the price i mean you're talking nine year old barrel proof and single barrel that's a lot of yeah it, the only thing it could do better is be bottled and bond yeah <laughs> right other than that it pretty much hits every it's above bottle and bond yeah, it's actually yeah. a higher proof, right. and to be honest, it's a really damn good whiskey. Um, on the nose, does not smell 120. Does not, not smell that all. intense, yeah. no. It's not, it almost smells like a bottle and bond, if anything. Yeah, it kind of has that classic Knob Creek nose. Mm -hmm. It's oaky. Yeah. It's not sweet. Knob Creek isn't really sweet. Knob Creek tends to be a lot more oak forward, and that's because they're usually older. Knob Creek, even the standard Knob Creek, I think is still nine years. Mm -hmm. This is just a higher proof single barrel it's version. a lot of wood. Yeah, it's a, it's not even spicy either. It's really, it's wood. Right. On, the, on the nose, sweet oak. Right. I'm getting a little bit of eggnog there too. You and you and your eggnog. I like my eggnog. No, you're right. There, there is a little bit of that. That's because typically bourbon is is put into eggnog in Amer mm. America. Oh man. Okay, so yeah, if you swish it around, it's like yeah, it is. It is pretty hot. Yeah, it's like I just opened up an old but, tome. <laughs> an old tome. <laughs> uh, mm. But in a good way. As soon as that heat goes away, as soon as your tongue stops being numb, mm, so much good, sweet, caramelized, like mm. oak. Yes. Um, it's not a grain forward bourbon like i don't really taste the corn or the rye mm -hmm. i get way more barrel char i right. get just a lot of that the the taste of the barrel this was in um it's a long finish too it actually there it goes vanilla a lot of vanilla or standard with burnt oak um man a lot of vanilla actually like that goes right. for a minute but i don't get like the corn sweetness i don't really get rye spice Hint of cinnamon, maybe. I get it like a, a little bit of barley almost. 
I can see that. I mm -hmm. bet, I'm sure there's a little bit of malted barley in this. Mm -hmm. Okay, actually now, smelling, I get a little more sweetness after I've taken a sip. A little more of a corn sweetness. Right. Yep. But not, not overly so, not like ancient age, which not. we'll refer to over <laughs> and over again when we're talking about corn sweetness, because that is the epitome of corn sweetness as yeah. far as I'm concerned. Like it damn near smells like like pancake syrup. It yeah, does smell it, like pancake it syrup. It is, yeah, I think it is pancake syrup. You could probably put it in pancake syrup and then get drunk off pancakes. <sighs> <laughs> Which would be fine. <laughs> That's we'll fine. do that. We'll, we'll do a, a breakfast episode. Damn. Honestly, for, for 120 proof. That's really dangerous. Mm -hmm. It's really easy to drink. I love that it's not really bitter or tannic. Mm. It's just enough of that to keep it thick and interesting. Mm -hmm. But it's not so much of that that it's off-putting. Yeah, you would never guess it's a 120 proof. No, uh -huh. it's not real hot at all. It's hot in the chest. <clears throat> on the palate, super gentle. Very easy to drink. Mm -hmm. but okay, super gentle for me, I guess. Maybe not you. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, we've had bookers. Yeah, we... You know, 120 ain't even that high for us. Uh, yeah. But it's it's not low. By, by no means is that, like, a weak whiskey. That That's mm -hmm. barrel proof. Um... This definitely shouldn't be your first whiskey. It's not super complex, mm -hmm. but it has a nice long finish. But yeah, a lot of vanilla, a lot of sweet oak, a bit of smoky oak. Mm -hmm. Not real cinnamon heavy. We reviewed Knob Creek Quarter Oak, way more cinnamon. Right. Way sweeter. Mm -hmm. This is not nearly as sweet, not much cinnamon. Bit more balance going on here. Um, Definitely more of just a bourbon. It's not like a grain forward bourbon. Right. It's not a bourbon that tastes like corn. You know, it doesn't taste like the grains it's made with. Right. Um, it tastes way more like the barrels it was aged in. Exactly. It's not aggressive in the. I mean, it literally tastes like licking a really heavily charred barrel. Like yeah, wood, just wood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's chewing on a nice chunk. That's of wood. like exactly what this tastes like. I really like this. Actually, I, I don't think I've had anything from Knob Creek I don't like. like yeah. I don't really like. Right. Um, when I say Knob Creek, I mean Jim Beam. <laughs> Jim Beam makes this. So once again, Jim Beam, you job, Jim good. Beam. No, yeah. we we are we are huge fans on the show. That, that's mostly what we've reviewed, and for a reason, like. Yeah. It's everywhere and it's great. And it's affordable. Yeah. You see, that's the price, yeah. availability, quality. I think Jim Beam wins in in all those. Although Wild Turkey's up there too. Don't get me wrong. Wild Turkey, Wild Turkey, and Jim Beam to me are probably like my two favorites. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of people are like, yeah, Buffalo Trace. It's like, yeah, it's expensive as shit, man. <laughs> like that's really expensive yeah. bourbon when you're talking Some about bougie whiskey. When you're talking about their really yeah. higher end good stuff, it's overpriced. Mm -hmm. um, it's Pappy Van Winkle. No, I'd rather have this. Well, I wouldn't rather have this than Pappy Van Winkle, but I want to try. I'd rather it. buy this than Pappy Van Winkle. Exactly. I don't got, I don't got that Van Winkle money yet. If you go so, to, you guys need to yeah. subscribe to this channel. Yeah. Um, Give us. Yeah, give us give us your money so we can spend it on more whiskey. Um, Knob Creek, and then I already said this in the Quarter Oak review, but Knob Creek is named for the creek that ran through the Lincoln Abraham Lincoln's property, his childhood home in Kentucky. Um, you know, his log cabin he grew up in and everything. And he he had a creek it. behind his house. It was, it was Knob Creek. Oh yeah. Um, so that's pretty cool. I don't think he built it. He was a kid. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anything about anything. So <laughs> Except whiskey. A little bit. I know a thing or two, maybe. But uh, I know I like this. Yeah. And I know you'll like this as well. And for 50 bucks, you can... great value. Right. Actually, really good bottle to buy. I also, for some reason, I love the feel of the bottle in my hand. I really like the shape of this. It's ergonomical. It's very easy to just because open it. Your hand's kind of like a square. Pour a little more. And it literally, it fits that square. 
You ever see that? No, exactly. There's, I don't know, there's something about, although I didn't touch up on this in the quarter oak review, when you open one of these, do it like outside or over a trash can because unlike Maker's Mark or Evan Williams does a wax seal one too. I think it's, I think it's the, damn it, a single barrel, Evan Williams single barrel. Mm -hmm. It peels off as one nice chunk. When you open this, little bits of wax just shoot all over the place. It makes a mess. So do it outside or over a trash can or something. Because, right. yeah, it's it's kind of a sloppy, messy wax seal to open. But the yeah. whiskey in, in this bottle is better than That's what's funny, is anything this I've is had from Maker's Mark. Superior so. to Maker's Mark, but has a sugar <laughs> seal. Exactly. That tells you that Maker's Mark's focus on the wrong thing. Yeah. They're not focused on what's in the bottle. They're just focused on their red wax seal that they're known for which yeah really? sure thing <laughs> sure thing. i got wax yeah, look at yeah. me now i i would take this all day over anything i've had from maker's mark um yeah other than that final thoughts damn good damn good and you know what? that's i think that's the best compliment you can pay a bourbon yeah damn good yeah if you just really like it and you're like oh, i just want to keep drinking this that's what makes it a good bourbon mm -hmm. Especially at this high of proof, like, this is so easy oh. to drink. This is so dangerous. Yeah. This will get you so fucked up if you just, if you buy a bottle of this. Like, I'm serious. You can this get is... easily carried away with this. Easily. That's, that's something I love about Knob yeah. Creek. It's, it's the best, some of the best value mm -hmm. you'll find in, in the world of bourbon. Right. Especially for the proof. And yeah, 120 proof Knob Creek goes 50, down like nothing. $50 single barrel nine years old like ridiculous yeah they did everything right here um yeah you know it doesn't have that cardboard note either like it doesn't taste right. like a jim beam whiskey yeah it is doesn't taste like it tastes That's much nuts. nicer i thought it was knob creek uh like i thought it was its own thing until you said something about it nope jim beam makes this they've only been making it since 1992 year we were born so best year ever yeah yeah i don't know we're we're getting drunk off this any other final thoughts here that's damn good yeah this will get you drunk that's honestly my final thought <laughs> is like this is dangerously drinkable for how strong it is and this will <laughs> fuck you up so buy it um and if you like this subscribe to the channel smash that like button thumbs up let us know what else you want to see us review we'll review like the regular knob creek mm -hmm. down the line we're just we're, we're starting with more fun things we just want to get right into the more interesting stuff so right. so we went straight for this um yeah yeah buy this also buy the quarter oak it's excellent and uh leave us some fun comments send us whiskey please if you could if, if, if you not if you could trouble. be so kind and uh you know i am sugar bear troy we are whiskey dixon until next time cheers keep on drinking